Hello to B and to C. This week I'm going to share with you a traditional fairy tale. It's called The Elves and the Shoemaker. Now this story was written by the Brothers Grimm and they are famous for writing Hansel and Gretel. So I'm going to share with you our story which is all ready up and ready. This is the third time lucky so I'm hoping that this video works. I've already tried a couple of times and it didn't. So let's begin. The Elves and the Shoemaker. Once upon a time, there lived a very poor shoemaker and his wife. One night before he went to bed, the shoemaker cut out the last of his leather to work on the next day. The next morning, he was amazed to find a beautiful pair of shoes standing on his table. In fact, the shoes were so beautiful that when someone came to try them on, they paid twice as much as the shoemaker had asked for them. With the money, the shoemaker bought enough leather to make two pairs of shoes. Before he went to bed, he laid out the leather to work on the next day. The next morning, he was amazed to find two beautiful pairs of shoes standing on his table. Now who could be making these, I wonder? Soon the shoemaker became a very rich man. One night, the shoemaker and his wife hid inside the shop to find out who they owed their riches to. They were very surprised to see two small elves come into the shop and stitch the shoes together carefully. The poor little elves wore no clothes. The shoemaker's wife made two little shirts, two tiny pairs of trousers and some socks to thank the elves. When the elves crept into the shop that night and saw the clothes, they were so overjoyed, they danced and sang with delight. The shoemaker and his wife never saw the elves again, but they were forever grateful to them for showing them how to make beautiful shoes. The end. Now, a really, really short story this week. Um, your work for today then is vipers. So answering some questions, vocabulary, inference, predictions, explanations i'm trying to think of the next one i forgot on the other ones never mind um so questions like you already have done um in previous weeks uh tomorrow you're going to do some vocabulary sorting and some matching on wednesday i would like you to then plan your own version of the elves and the shoemaker but changing up a little bit so it'll be the elves and something else and on Thursday and Friday, I would like you to write your story, so maybe add some pictures along with it as well. I can't wait to read what you come up with this week. So do send myself and Miss Bodkin all of your work for English. It's lovely to hear from you. So good luck with your work today and good luck for the rest of the week. And that's it from me. So I hope you have a brilliant day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye.